Burley so. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Burley So. I'm your host, Purified, and today we have video two in the Hatch series. If you haven't checked out the last video, you can do so by clicking the link on the screen. It shows all the features of Hatch and what you can expect from this new embroidery software from Wilcom. So let's get ready to jump in. <laughs> Today we're going to take a look at Hatch Embroidery Basics, which includes two toolboxes, very important toolboxes, the Manage Designs Toolbox and Customize Design Toolbox. So the first toolbox that we're going to talk about is the Manage Designs Toolbox. If you're like all the other embroidery people that I've talked to over the years, you've got hundreds, if not thousands, of embroidery files on your computer. And I know from personal experience that it's a pain to keep all those files straight, keep them managed, know exactly which design you're looking for without having to click and open up several designs. So what's great about what I'm going to show you today is that Hatch takes care of all that with, with the Manage Designs Toolbox. And not only is it a great tool for that, it's also the foundation for Hatch Embroidery Basics, which includes the Customized Design Toolbox, and I'll also touch upon that in this video. Okay, so let's jump right into the Manage Designs Toolbox. When clicking on the Manage Designs toolbox, you can see that the layout of your screen changes. So if you're working on managing your designs, you're gonna get the toolbox and the toolbar across the top that's specific to that function. So you can see on the left, I have all my options that are available here under the toolbox for managing my designs. Next to it, you can see that I have a directory view that I can see my libraries and folders that I've set up within Hatch as well as what's on my PC and connected to my PC or any thumb drives I might have connected to my PC. And then next to that you see the thumbnail preview window, which is super awesome. I mean, this thing comes in handy. And at the top you have the toolbar for changing your view, sorting, searching, along with the rest of the functions that are associated with managing your designs. And then you'll notice if I click Customize Design, it's going to change once again because now I'm doing a different toolbox. And I've set up my toolbars um, the way I like it. So you, you'll notice here that I have most of my like edit and file functions on the left as long as, as as well as my view and then across the top I have the context specific toolbar along with the ability to change my hoop sizes and things that all relate to the customized designs toolbox so now let's take a look at the primary functions of each of these toolboxes so you can get a better idea of what you can do and how. Okay, so now let's click on our Manage Designs toolbox. And working with your files as far as organization goes, you can set up your library. And that's nice because you'll have all of your files right at the top here ready to access no hunting around like now if I wanted to go to you know I've got to go down the tree here and I got to go to X and then find my embroidery so it saves you a ton of time and you can just right click and you can include it in the library and you can include all uh, right there your embroidery library and then I'll put your folders up here so when you click on embroidery 
depending upon what your search parameters are at the top, you can see your designs. Now that you know how to access your designs, you can customize your view. If you want smaller icons, if you want details, if you want contents, uh, extra large icons, I go at large. You can change whether you see the folders view or not. If you want more real estate, once you have your selected directory, you can go ahead and do that if you like. So there's many, many ways that you can obviously customize this. You can even search by file types, um, what you want showing, what you don't want showing. The most important possibly could be the find feature. I have mine off to the right here. But now let's click on a design and just single left click it. I'm not opening it. I get the information on the right here. And then I also am able to gain access to different functions on the left underneath the toolbox. Um, if I wanted to create a new design from selected, and you can see when you hover over it, you can get a detailed description of what that function is and you can also press F1 for help and the help system is quite comprehensive so don't hesitate to use that uh, you can open the select and selected my I'm super impressed with this um, you can convert into many different formats that alone is a huge feature for the software other than managing your designs, I mean, just the ability to take a design and export it into several different formats. So it, for example, if you wanted to sell a design and you wanted to make it available to multiple users, that's something that you would use um, and it would be priceless. So I've got that. Um, transfer selected designs. You can print them, which is quite nice and then some searching options and adding to your library options but very comprehensive now let's open up a design and we can take a look at the customized design toolbox so to open a design you can simply double left click it or you can single left click it to highlight it come over to your manage designs toolbox here on the left click open selected and there you go you'll find with hatch that there's multiple ways to do a single task and that's really nice because then you can customize how you work to your personal style you can try a couple of different methods and adapt from there it's very 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 customizable and dynamic now that we have a design open and we've opened our customized design toolbox if you click on at the top design information you'll see the design information a number of stitches the version um, if you have a name on it color changes number of colors the fabric type required stabilizers and we'll get into where that comes from that's going to be in the auto fabric feature down a little bit below and then uh, your start points and end points next you can change the background and display you've got several options in here you can choose the color of the whole display area, the whole the solid background color behind your design, the whole window you can see. You can change the hoop color if you have the hoop displayed. Um, factory article. If you've got a certain shirt that you want to put it on, um, they've grouped it through several different colors or categories. 
and you can hover over that and see all the options quite amazing some of them go kids for example has several different breakdown areas and then there's factory fabric so if you know you're using a pure cotton you can input that and basically all these settings are to help you get a nice clean stitch they'll eliminate help eliminate puckering uh, they'll give you suggestions for the type of stabilizer you should use if you should be using a top stabilizer if you should be using double tear away on the back like in this example no top but tear away times two so i'd use two pieces of medium weight uh, tear away stabilizer for this particular pure cotton setting so you can see with all these features it really helps you plan out your project and you can get a good idea of how your project will look with certain colors and on different article articles of clothing um, just another example of just how many features and how rich this piece of software is the next thing we'll take a look at is the auto start and end feature as you increase and decrease the size of your design especially increase you want to make sure that you don't have a situation where you could possibly hit your hoop frame with with the needle so this will help you set your starting and ending points and as i mentioned earlier if you just simply hover over any one of these tools in the toolbox and hit f1 it'll make available the online help and I only have so much time to explain features in this video. Um, there will be more videos to come and we still have a couple more features yet to cover yet tonight, a couple more tools in this toolbox. But the website, they've really done a great job at supporting their software, very comprehensive uh, hints and tips and just straight up information on how things work within, within Hatch. Next, when you have a area of a design selected, you can adjust the stitch spacing. So if you have a, a, a design that's turning out to be a little bit too dense, you can adjust that stitch stitching right here, or maybe it's too loose. Um, you've got a, a good feature here in being able to adjust that stitch spacing. So now we've got a few more features before we wrap up. There are multiple ways to work with the color of your design. Uh, if you've got the change color, change design color tool, and you can see when you click that, it opens up a palette on your right. And then you can see across the bottom that it has the tools. Well, that's where mine's placed. Remember that all the toolbars are highly customizable, so you can move it around to wherever you would like on your screen. But then you can pick, apply, uh, add and remove, hide uh, different colors and threads all using that t specific toolbar. And my favorite probably feature when it comes to playing with the colors is the color wheel. Uh, if you have multiple objects selected, you can go ahead and move these little arms around in here and change the colors of your stitch work to get an idea of how it'll look on a specific project with different colors without having to stitch it out and do it by trial and error, which can take hours and hours and hours. And finally, As far as the tool uh, the tools in the toolbox go, you can insert multiple designs, which comes in handy as well because you can combine two designs in one and get an idea of how things look as well. The one thing that I haven't covered so far is the toolbars, and I, you can see I have mine on the left here. 
I mean, I'm sure you got a good idea what, you know, the selection, the new, there's new from open and, and all that. But there's also uh, the true view, which um, shows or hides the simulation of the stitch embroidery project. You can customize how your view looks by deciding whether you want to view, you know, different shapes, stitches, uh, connectors. You can see all the all the options there and play with those. You can hide the hoop, show the hoop, hide the grid, show the grid, the rulers to create more real estate, um, less distraction if you're viewing previewing a design, and a great feature as well that's well worth this package is the stitch player which will simulate the stitching of your embroidery design so you can, can see how it stitches out and in what order it stitches and get an idea of how it worked for um, what you're trying to do so we'll see in future videos more toolboxes I have a project video coming up soon, so tune in for that. Um, we'll get into more features, we'll get into more toolboxes, we'll get into more projects. Uh, great piece of software by Wilcom. I'm enjoying using it. Uh, I believe you will as well. If you click below um, in the description of the video, you can find a, le uh, a link to Wilcom's website and you can download a copy of Hatch. But that's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're already trying Hatch out, I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Um, if you like the video, share it with your friends. Check us out on our social feeds. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm Purified, and we'll see you next time on Burley Cell.